What's up guys, I'm Richard, and I'm here with another deck profile, and today we got Eugene, best boy. So Eugene, kind of an underrated deck in D-Series in general, but honestly, it's a lot of fun. So if you have a Eugene deck and you kind of want to see what I've done to update it, here are my recommendations. So this ride deck is pretty much the same for everyone. Your grade zero is going to be Bart. It doesn't really matter which one it is, but I like Bart just because of the, uh, the aesthetic. So then we have Nigel. So Nigel's skill is when you ride Rander on top of it, you can soul charge. It has a rear guard skill that when your opponent's rear guard is retired in the main phase, you counter blast retire this. Choose another one your opponent's rear guards retire it, but it's like the fact that you're losing a unit off your board kind of sucks. So we don't run in the main deck. Grade two is Rander. Rander's skill is when it's ridden by Eugene, you get to draw a card and you get to put a card from your drop zone into your soul. Then second skill is Vander Rear. When it attacks, if your opponent has two or less rear guards, you kind of lost one, you get to soul charge and an extra 5k. So if this is on your van, you swing, you want to counter blast just so you can get off the uh, the soul charge so you can have extra soul, you can do that as well. <clears throat> and then for grade threes, we got Eugene. Act once per turn, rest two rear guards. You choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you retire it, and this gets 10k. Second skill is act. Once per turn, if your opponent's rear guard was retired this turn, you soul blast five and you look at the same number from the top of your deck equal to the number of cards your opponent has, or number of open circles they have, not number of cards. So you look at like if their board is empty, you look at top five and you can call up to as many from that top amount to your rear guard circle and then the rest go into your soul. So it helps you refill your soul, helps you fill the board, the only drawback is that you have to retire something. So if your opponent has things with resist, so they don't call a board and you can't retire anything, Eugene's kind of dead. You can still do the rest too for the 10K, but you kind of do have to retire something. All right, going on to the main deck, starting with grade threes, we got three more copies of Eugene. So for Persona Ride, basically, we already went through Eugene's skill. So three extra copies are for the Persona Ride. Next up, Dinosaur, Penetrate Dragon, Tribash. So Tribash's skill is when your Vanguard attacks, if your opponent has two or less rear guards, you put this in your soul, choose one of your Vanguards and it gets an additional crit. So you can rest Tribash from Eugene's skill and then when Eugene attacks, you move it to soul, giving Eugene an extra crit. So helps fill the soul, applies crit pressure by putting crits on your Vanguard. So Tribash is a really great card and it's a dinosaur. All right, next up, we got a new card. This is Best Harvest, and it truly is the best card in this deck. Uh, so Best Harvest is kind of like a continuous effect. You just choose one of your vanguards and it gets an auto ability. The auto ability is when your opponent's record is retired during your main phase, you draw a card. And that happens every single time you retire. So you go into Eugene, you use Best Harvest for free, mind you, the card is no cost. Declare best harvest, put this in your drop, and then you use Eugene's skill. Retire something, draw. Call another thing to retire stuff, draw. Geobrachio, rest it, retire something, draw. Like, you're just getting so much resource out of best harvest, so you definitely want to be running it. Um, running it at three, just because you don't want orders to clog up your board, um, but you do want to see it, so I feel like three is just enough. All right. Next up, we're going on to grade twos. This is a new card that came out in DBT-03. Uh, How would serve Dust Storm Dustin? So Dustin's skill is when this is placed on the rear guard circle. If your vanguard is Eugene, you put a card from your hand into your soul, draw a card, choose one of your opponent's grade two or greater rear guards and retire it. So usually you'll wanna do this first to retire front row thing. I know, um, what's it called? There's the other grade one. Um, also is uh, great to or greater specific. Yeah, Eduris. So you wanna get rid of the front row cards first. That way when it's like, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, you go over the back row. So you just wanna keep in mind, this is probably gonna be a front row targeting card. Second skill is when this attacks, Soul Blast one, it gets 2K for each of your opponent's open rear guard circles. So empty board plus 10K. You do have to pay the Soul Blast, but there's a lot of soul charging in this deck. so. You don't have to really worry about that that much, but it's the the on place hand hand card to soul draw a card. 
It's just really helpful. Like, if you already use Best Harvest this turn, you have an extra in hand. You can just shove that to Soul since you don't want your hand to clog up with orders. All right. Next up for Grade 2s. <clears throat> We're still running Geobrachio. Um, if you don't remember Geobrachio's skill, it's if your Vanguard is Eugene, you Soul Blast 1, rest this unit, choose one of your opponent's rearguards, and retire it. Then, at the beginning of your battle phase, if your opponent has one or less rear, rear guards, you stand this unit and this gets 5k. So even if you don't rest it for the skill, or if you don't rest it from Eugene's skill, and this stays standing, you still get the 5k. You just have to make sure your opponent has one or less rear guards at the beginning of the battle phase. So, Dewbreaker is a really great card, does retiring stuff, helps you nuke your opponent's board, and it gets 5k. It's a 15k beat stick. So, really helpful card for Eugene. And that's it for grade twos. So going on to the grade ones, gonna show off some new cards. We got Drag Ritter Shihab. So Shihab is actually pretty cool. It's kind of like um, uh, Tagachi Rashi, where you know you move stuff to soul for resources during your ride step, but definitely different. The first skill is when this is placed on rear, it gets 5k. Easy, on place, boom, 11k booster, or 11k beat stick. So if you search it from the deck, place it down, it's pretty much good wherever it lands. So that's good to know. Second skill is when you would ride from your ride deck, you can ride with, put this into your soul instead of discarding a card. So if you're, you know, going into your ride step and you're about to attack, you can throw this down as a booster, swing with an 11k boost, and then at the start of your next turn, you move this to soul, then you go, then you choose a card from your ride deck and write it. That way you're filling up your soul and you're not losing your hand. So Shihab's still a good card. Um, even if you are in late game and you're not using your ride deck anymore, the uh, 11k beater is still pretty good. On to more new cards. Twin Strike of Dust Storm Orlando. So Orlando's skill is when it's in the soul. Act. If your opponent's rear guard is ret was retired this turn, you can't lost one. Call this to rear. So it helps you fill your board. Uh, also, if you need targets for resting, you can call it out for that. Second skill is when your grade three or greater vanguard attacks, you put this into your soul, choose your vanguard, and it gets 5k. So same thing as before, you can rest this for Eugene's skill, and then when Eugene attacks, you just move this into the soul, give Eugene 5k. So it just pops in and out of the soul how it pleases, but it's still... Uh, Still really helpful if you want to call it out from the deck or if you end up soul charging it through like your turn of soul charging or you put it from hand to soul. It's a good card to have like just floating around in the game. All right, I'm gonna show off some more retiring skills. Stealth Dragon, Keys on Ragey. So this is a DBTL two card. It's once per turn, you kind of blast one, soul blast one, act, choose when your opponent's rear goods in the same column as this and retire it. So. If you want to specifically snipe something in the back row on a left or right column or even in a middle column, you just plop this down, kind of a soul blast, boom, you get rid of something. So that's pretty helpful as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just another card that helps you retire. If you already went into best harvest, that's just one extra draw as well. So Keys on Ragey is helpful to have there too. The one copy of Drag Ritter Iduris. Uh, this is a friendship card that my friend Chris gave me as an SP, so I'm running it in the deck. But it's still a really helpful card. Um, if you want to run more, it's still helpful that way. The skill is if your opponent's rear guard was retired this turn, you can counterblast one and perform one of the following abilities. So there's two of them. You can either put this into your soul and you choose one of your opponent's grade two or greater rear guards or retire it, or you can have this get another 10K. So it's like a 15K booster or a 15K beat stick. So you could do either way. Um, the fact is that you have to retire something already, so Idurus doesn't really do anything on its own. But if you want to, you know, get that extra, like, oh, rest this with Eugene. Okay, cool. Now counterblast, move this to soul, retire something else. But you have to counterblast, so you have to think about that as well. So still a good card to run. All right. And I think lastly for our grade ones is our twin bucklers. So this is your Dragon Empire PG. It's the one where if you have one or less cards in your hand, you don't have to discard. If you have two or more, you do have to discard. So go to PG for uh, any D deck. All right, now we're getting into triggers. 
we got the very controversial uh, over trigger, the drag Veda. Um, every over trigger is controversial, just a, net, just a heads up. Um, so its effect is when you reveal it during your drive check, you can restand your Vanguard. So to help you get an extra twin drive, which is still really nice because that helps you fill your hand. Um, 100 mil, obviously, um, you just, you have to, remove it from game after you damage or trigger check it. So yeah, I like drag beta. All right, going on to new critical triggers. This is the new DBT-03 crit with the skill. It's at the end of the battle this boosted, you put this into your soul and you choose one of your units and it gets 2K. Um, while I don't like calling triggers, if I do happen to see it when I'm using Eugene's skill to fill my board, it's still a target I would rather call than put into my soul because I can call it, and then I can choose to, maybe if I use another skill for retiring and then use Eugene before using Eugene's resting two unit skill, I can then rest this, you know, and then for the next turn, stand it, boost with it, move it to soul, or even just boost with it during that turn, etc. There's different ways you can go around this. It's just nice to have a crit that puts itself into the soul, especially in a deck that's very soul reliant. All right. Rest of the triggers, we got Conduct Spark Dragons, we got four more of those. Vanilla Crit, um, because there aren't any other crits with skills in D-Series yet, so the other crits are gonna be vanilla. I'm running three copies of Steel Diflo, 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 Dilofo, Dilofo, yes, Dilophosaurus. Um, <laughs> I'm running the Steel Dilophosaurus because Instead of running the fronts with the skill to add more shield, I like the draws just because um, if you can't constantly fill a board back up with Eugene and you're struggling with seeing your resources, like if you don't see Best Harvest, you don't see Dustin, and you're like, man, I just really need cards that do stuff, I feel like the draw triggers help with that because you can either drive check them, damage check them, and it helps you fill your hand. So I like draw triggers. Um, I feel like the front triggers are cool offensively, but I feel like the draw triggers help with the consistency. And last but not least, we got our four cutie patootie uh, parasolus heal trigger. I love this heal, it's just so cute. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm maybe hoping to get some games in with Eugene in the near future. Um, there was a moment when we were trying to film a Eugene game and it was really fun, but the camera ended up dying, so weren't able to get that in. But near, maybe in the near future, we'll get another Eugene game in for you guys. But this deck is really like wacky and fun. Um, Dustin, the MVP, makes this deck a lot more easier to retire things and fill your soul without feeling like you're being punished for it. Best harvest, best card. Um, but yeah, if you just if you don't have a Eugene deck and you want a like fun, cheap deck that just, you know, blows up your opponent's board like the good old Narukami Kagura days, get yourself a Eugene deck. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you stopping by to check out my Eugene deck. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like for the video. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.